let's move. Hi everyone, hopefully everyone is doing alright. Welcome to the stream, Fast Burton, I see you my man. Wait, I need to do that. Uh, Fast Burton, I had to do that one. The first thing that popped up in my mind when I saw your, when I saw your name. Hi everyone, welcome to the stream, and this one, this is my garage right here. So this is the one, the card that I'll be using today. This is actually the second ever season prize I won, and... Yeah, so this is a season prizes means that you have to be in a top ten. Bruce, there was this was I can't re I can't remember the the name, uh, the season number. I mean, I can't re really recall what season it was, but we were I think we were second or third that season, and we won the purple star car and the gold star car that season. And I absolutely adore the color on this car. I absolutely love it. This was the first season car that I won with from the shadows, which I'm still there. So. Yeah, this is it. So, um, first things first. So, we're gonna move first. So, I have a couple of cars right here in the garage. These are my favorite ones. I spent literally all my silver keys, all of them, to get these cars. So, for the first pro people who commented in the stream, you get you guys get to pick the license plates for these four cars right here. Not the milestone one, not the season prize one. So, just these four cars. Y'all get to pick. Uh, the first one who was allowed to pick was Bryce. So, Bryce Vlogs. Bad Luck Rex, Jonathan Taylor, and Dank Pack Gaming. So the, you four guys, just give me, just give me the license plates y'all had in mind. Hopefully as soon as possible, so then we can get this thing moving. Cause it's it's always a hassle to wait to get all those license plates in. So hopefully if Bryce you're still here, I need to be, I need you to get, I need you to pick one of the colors first. You cannot pick the black one and you cannot pick the red one. Those are the two. Those are the two ones that you can't pick. So you can pick any other car you can see right now in the garage. I'll put the menu up here. So gray, blue, yellow, second gray. So one of the four you can pick. Up to you. So you can't pick the red. No, <laughs> there's one rule. One rule you, you can't pick the red. Okay, you're gonna pick the yellow one. Bad luck, Rex. You got the next one ready. You got the license plates already. But you, now you get to pick the car as well. So now it's your turn. That way we're gonna do all four. So if Jonathan Taylor is also in the stream still here. Um. So this one was Dev Year. Dev Year. Done. Okay, so Dev Year. Devi? Yes, Dev Year. Yeah, we put it down there. So you got your plate forever on the yellow car. Now, Blue, Santa, Bad Luck Rex. So we got the blue one with the. With the snow rims. I, I This is this is a car that I think I, ne I didn't expect this car to be my favorite one. Someone asked earlier on which one was my favorite one, and I said yellow, but this one is... The snow, the, the rims make it look like snowflakes. It's it's different, I like it. I like it. Okay, so I don't know if Jonathan Taylor is still in the stream. Jonathan Taylor, if you're still in the stream, just let me know what license plate I have to put on this one. So I had to put Santa on this one. Done. Slightly off center, but we can live with it. So now there are only two grey ones possible to pick, alright? Two grey ones. First, I want to thank you, Sunita Badman, Badmanaban, if I pronounced that correctly. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, so we got this grey one left with the grey rims. And we also have a second grey one left over there with the gold rims. So Christian, uh, not Christian Taylor, was it? Was Jonathan Taylor? Jonathan Taylor, if you're still in the stream, let me know the license plate. If you don't get it, it's going to be Narendra Gill, who was the fifth one. Do let me know, alright? So, anyways guys, how is everyone? Hopefully everyone is having a good weekend. I know I'm late with the live stream, but I got out a couple of videos last couple of days, so it went, it went quite fast. Um, we need to get this moving though. Okay, so thank Pat. Thank Pat. Uh, <laughs> you can't pick the black one. The black one has... The thing is, with the black one, I have a small thing, like, I have something that I do, and it's always put the amount of subscribers I have on the back of the license plate. So this season, that I won this car, I had 6,398 subscribers. That's the season that I had. So, if you if you think about it, my my channel exploded massively. If we're at, right now, I can I can't see it right now. I have to move around a little bit. 14,757 subscribers. So, my channel has exploded. Okay, so let's move first. So he's he said great fast. So I have a feeling you can live with. Uh, I have a feeling you can live with uh, gold rims, dank pat. No. We need to tune this. We need to put the license plate on. We lost 10 minutes with it already. So, so you said 
Gray. Okay, everyone going for the center of the Christmas one. <laughs> X. Plus. Y. And then we're gonna go to the last one. We're gonna go to the one with the golden rims. And then we're gonna get this out of here. First, I'm gonna show the tune. And then we can get the prestige cap started. Yeah, fast forward. You were you were the first ones on those streams, but uh, oh, you want to put fourteen thousand seven? Okay, put fourteen thousand seven hundred seventy-five. So you can put me off guard whenever I'm looking back at my garage. Smart play, my man. Smart play. Smart play. Uh, so I'm gonna show the tune first. Yeah, fast forward. You were the first one in the. You were the first one to to be on the live streams on both occasions. But the thing is, I didn't have that many variants back then. I only had my master one, which has the regular plate on it. So I can't really change that one because I want to keep it that way. And um, the other one, um, the other one, which was the other one, the Fina one, I only had only one variant of it and I didn't pull any other ones. So I couldn't really give you a license plate back then. Hopefully in the coming, normally with prestige cups, I, I tend to give them way more easier because I have more I try to pull more variants like I have I have now these six and in my second garage I have another five um yeah, so I have also this one with the other rooms but I, if I if I were to give license plates to everyone I think that would just be that would just be an extremely long stream <laughs> okay let's get this thing started we're gonna do we're gonna do the prestige cup now I think I should get a sponsorship for water I always keep drinking Okay, let's get this prestige cup started. Yeah, I'm not completing my daily challenges. Anyway, so yeah. Do you think the Legends update will end soon within a month? Uh, Arrowhood? I don't understand what you mean with ends. The Legends update is never supposed to end. What I can think about that might happen is that we might see the unlocking of the Ford GT40. First, I'm going to go back. I want to show you guys something before we go to the Ford GT40 explanation. Oh, wow. Yeah, as you can see, I have not practiced with this car at all. <laughs> I haven't practiced at all. You're getting a Lamborghini Veneno? Oh, sure, that's a good car, honestly. The Veneno is quite fast. 7.390, I think, is the current record. So it, it's pretty fast. And it's reliable. It's uh, you don't, And also, you don't need to buy extra crates if you, if you just want to finish the event. Not even finish the event, just get the stage 6 parts. Because finishing is not worth it. But yeah. Okay, so... This is something interesting. What I already showed this a couple of times. Where is support? Here is support. So I showed this already a couple of times. Hot topics. Uh, is it here? No, it's not here. Mm, Legends help. Oh, let's see. No. One minute. Did they remove it? They actually removed it. They removed the question. I showed this in my earlier videos. Oh, I actually showed they actually removed it. There was a question that stated something about a full performance event. So um, basically, the what I think it will be, it will be an event where you will have to use multiple Ford cars to then unlock the GT40. So then you can restore that one. How it's going to work out, because not everyone has an available slot for it. So I have no idea. But if it's going to be like that, which I think it is, but... Yeah, I can't really, I can't really tell. Two, one, go. Yeah, I know I should play with my file drive a little bit to increase my, to make it slower shifting. But this is the world record tune for this car because this car is maxed out. So, as you can see, I had a, I had it in level 10.7 right now, so that's rather fast. The record I think is set at 10.695 for the, for the purple star variant. I mean, let's go the next Prestige Cup card. The next Prestige Cup card is going to be the Lotus Exige LF1. So, which stands for, uh, what is it? It's LF1 or was it FL1? Is it? I think it was, wait. Was it Formula Lotus or Lotus Formula 1? It was the LF1, Lotus Formula 1. The Lotus Lotus LF1 is inspired by the color scheme of the Lotus, of the Lotus Formula 1 team back in the day, so anymore nowadays it's become Renault but back in the days it was the Lotus team with the gold and the green which was amazing and that one will be a two-star car tier two not very not very fast but it will give some breathing time so you guys can upgrade the car for almost no cost whatsoever 
Yeah, with the LF1. Wait, let me get the thing. Ah, oh, no, I messed up. I should have shifted. I should have used nitrous and food key. The shift pattern on this car is so weird. Like, it's going to be like fast, 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 slow. Then it keeps on going. I did buy crates for the Veneno. Is that bad? What do you mean it's that bad, Richard? It, you shouldn't have bought crates for the for the Veneno. If you had fusion parts for it, there was no reason to buy crates for it. Uh, next season is going to be the LF1 season. So it should be happening... Well, it's going to start next week, Friday, isn't it? My setup is the world record setup. I'm going to show it one more time real quickly. For the, 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 the main difference between this one and the world record one for the gold star car is that you have the file drive set a little bit higher to 4.40, 4.38. But besides that, it's roughly the same tune. You should be good. Yeah, oh, stage 5, stage 5 everything. I can't give you stage 5 everything. So that w that's very depending on so many factors. I can't really tell. Well, y of course, it also depends on the amount of stage 6 parts that you have. On what what pattern you have to use nitrous for. For, for example, for me, maxed out, I have to use it in 4th gear. When I had no nitrous or no body or something, I had to put it actually on 3rd gear. So it, was, it was kind of complicated it really depends on the amount of upgrades you have in general uh the centenario or the veneno if i had to choose between one of the two i would definitely go with the centenario the blue one that thing looks good have you seen the blue centenario mm, that thing is amazing three two one go yeah, i shifted a little bit too late it might it was a good shift it was a perfect shift but i had like floor down and got stuck Next milestone car is going to be the Bentley Bentayga. What others like to call the Sucker Mom car. Uh, well, it's quite an expensive Sucker Mom car. I actually googled this and the price for a Bentayga is around 300,000, which is insane. Now, the next prestige car is going to be the, the Lotus. I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but normally every season, the milestone car and the season car are like one tier lower. Or at least one tier lower. So if you have a tier 5 car, mostly it's going to be a 4 car. If you have a tier 4 car, season price is mostly going to be a 3 car. Or tier 2 or tier 1 ever been, but yeah. you guys get me, right? So next season we have the Bentayga, which is a tier 4. So normally we should have a tier 3 or a tier 2 for it. That's the way that I feel like it's going to be. What I used to live stream, I actually just used an Elgato software, my computer and... Yeah, of course, an Elgato HD60 and Streamlabs OBS. For a camera, I use the Logitech C720 and my microphone is just this golden microphone. I had to use this microphone for a project for school and everyone was thinking I was a, I was a professional singer or some stuff. <laughs> no, I don't want to, I don't want to sing, I don't want to ruin people's evenings. <laughs> I'm down for that. Is, is it a three-star car? Is the Lotus a th oh, wait, I need to check this. I thought the Lotus was a two-star car. <coughs> it's a tier two, but I thought it was a two-star car as well. Wait, let me check it real quickly. So we have to go to Lotus. Oh, Lotus, there we go. No, it's a two-star car. At the top. This is going to be the prestige car next season. Two-star car, tier two. Thought it was... The other ones are also like this one is a tier one, I think, is a one star. Oh, this is a no star even. No, never mind. And this one is a two star as well. So they're all they're all two stars. They're all two stars, so we don't have So normally to pull it it should be easier than usual. I hope so. So people already pulled it, for example, from Silver Crates when trying to go for the or a Liberty Walk. But I really need to save up for my <laughs> silver keys. I don't think I've ever been this low. My silver key stash is now right down to 150. I came from 1,500 at the start of the season. I pulled 20 crates plus the extra free keys that I got under what meanwhile. Oh. But I've I've been pulling mad to get RA Liberty Walk variants, and I have all of them with the exception of one. It's insane. Uh, there is no Tempest 4. There is no Tempest 4 confirmation right now. I, I'm not saying they might not be working on it. But as of now, there is no plans for the Tempest 4 that I know of. There is no data anywhere, there's nothing to be found. We are aware of some cars that might be used, like for example the tier 1 to tier 3. 
The cars are pretty dead set on what they're going to be, according to just following the regular story mode. But after it, after tier 3, the tier 4 and the tier 5 are variants that have to be changed. And but that will take a very long time before we get to it, because as of now, the fo main focus is the Legends update. And hopefully they are fixing some bugs that might be out there that we are not aware of, because it's the game is quite glitchy in some occasions at the moment, which is definitely not something that they are probably hoping for <laughs> but of course you cannot experience glitches unless you tried it and they get the feedback like for example this this thing of it i don't know if you guys saw it the opponent had a dnf i just missed it but that's one of the glitches for example the opponent had dnf and hopefully by the end we should see also the mclaren f1 opponent which is insane oh mm. it's insane it's crazy one go at the end, I will try to go hunt for the leaderboard. Oh, I should have shifted it. Oh, my, I'm messing up. <laughs> I'm messing up. What car would you like to be added to the game that isn't already? Oh, there are so many cars out there. The Plymouth. Oh, I know one. The Plymouth Superbird. Do you know the Plymouth Superbird? Wait, let me remove that thing real quickly. Remove. Yeah, we're not talking. We're not modding here. I do not like full modding in general. I played this game legit, and I want that to be kept this way. That's the way that I see it. Sorry about that. Can you give me some tricks on to get the prestige card? There are no tricks. It's pretty damn simple. You just pull silver crates. If you don't have enough silver crates, do online races, do cups. That's it. No, I didn't. The Dodge Daytona is the same as the Super Bird, like aesthetically wise. Maybe under the hood, I don't know what exactly are the specs and the differences. You know what? It's that concept of a car with a huge wing. If I would get the Superbird if, or if I would get the Dodge Daytona, I would definitely be down to get both. As long as I don't get the Dodge Daytona, the and not the new one. Because I've seen pictures of the new Dodge Daytona. That thing looks like garbage though. Like, they they changed the... What was it? They changed the new Challenger? Or was it the new Charger that they turned into a Daytona? What the hell even? I'm still confused on what they were trying to do with that. Luckily, it stayed with the concept. Because nothing will be as epic as the old Dodge Charger data. Nothing. Nothing can change, honestly. <laughs> you need the FX6K Eco. Damn, Richard, if you need that Eco, you definitely need to get it like a plug to charge it up once in a while. Yeah, you won't be using the thing one if it's gonna be an Eco. We need the Pontiac Trans Am. I honestly, okay, we'd say right now we need the Pontiac Trans Am. We need this, we need that. But the more we ask for them to add, the more. Um, that not. Well, people are saying we want more legends. We want this car, we want this car, we want this car. But the more legends that we ask for, the longer it will take for us to restore them because it is a long process. So, one hand, people are complaining, oh, it's too long, it's too tedious, it's not interesting enough. And then on the other hand, people be like, oh, we want more legend cars because I like this car more. So, it's, it's the sides on the story. It's quite funny because sometimes it's the exact same people. Things. Saying both things in general. Why is it that I always get a good shift bet in the moment um, running speed traps and not foot times? This is ridiculous. You shouldn't be spending... Oh, you, you can spend money on gold crates if you want to, but you, ha like, you should only use crates whenever you need them. For example, I already got lucky and I pulled the... Uh, FXXK EVO, so I won't be spending it anymore on the next one. That's the way that I see it. Then I can just save my gold keys for whenever I need them the next time, which can be in three months' time or something. But by then, I'll have some extra gold keys and I'll have it more stored up. So that's the way that I look at it. Well, <laughs> the guy in the one guy in your comments, uh, the California trick that's the literally the biggest BS out there. It's already been proven many times it doesn't work it's a mental trick i've made full, i've made a full mocking stream about this if there is one thing that triggers me is people saying there are tricks out there that's i think my main trigger just because i there are no tricks there, there are so many games out there with looting systems and not a single game i hear people saying oh there's a trick for it like for example asphalt there are no tricks for it like no one is making trick videos for asphalt why is it that only csr gets tricks videos why Someone has to, someone has to explain that to me. This, this, I think this is literally the only game out there that people be like, oh yeah, there has. To be. I, I don't get. It, um, it confuses me. 
so many times. So many times. Uh, Joski, I wouldn't even consider streets. Don't a straight up savage. There are no treats in there. Three, two, one, go. The shift pattern in second gear is quite tricky. I should maybe try shift a little bit earlier. Okay, there are bugs as well. Do you sh do you sh they should focus on Tempest for the next Legends update? Uh, RJIV Halo. The thing is, they have so many things planned. From what I've seen, they have already 2019 completely planned. So I can't really tell exactly what will happen um, <clears throat> due to both NDA and also I want to keep it a secret for because it might surprise you guys. But they already have the entire 2019 planned. Be sure about that. There are so many things coming this year from Natural Motion Art. I wish they were a little bit more transparent on what is going to happen, but definitely definitely there will be many new cars added there will be variants of cars maybe there will even be more evo cups etc maybe some other things we don't know of yet maybe that i don't know of yet either so definitely i heard someone on the on the reddit who said the game is dead you couldn't be wrong honestly the game is definitely not not dead ey gomez how the girls <laughs> Boy, there ain't no girls in this chat. No, of course, yeah. I saw, I saw, was it Stephanie? I think it was her name that I saw earlier. But I think besides that, it, not many girls in here. Also, my girlfriend might be watching. Yeah, okay. See, is King, I, I'm aware. I'm aware, but then if people get banned, I don't want people to get banned. So people get banned, people lose their fun in the game, and then they're going to blame the game after they mod it. We see so many people out there, they complain, oh yeah, why did I get banned, why did I get banned? Well, they use the glitch or they use a mod for something and then they're surprised they get banned out of nowhere. And I don't want that, I don't want to see that. And there are people out there modding this game, ruining it for legit players, like top 10. Also, leaderboards, always leaderboards. Leaderboards, the first 20 people, always the same guys. How the hell are they getting purple star cards every season? You need to explain me that. Every season they get maxed out cars every season stitch cup season stitch cup the season milestone car cup with the purple star season prize car they also have the leaderboards for pay events maxed out they also have what is it evo cups the purple star car they just have to max out one car oh sure let's add a second one onto it it's ridiculous honestly i'm that's why i don't like mothers they ruin it for other people what if there is a legit player out there he's this not really, it's it's <coughs> three, two, one, go. My point about hacking stands, I don't agree with it when it's used when other people are abusing the system for it, making it for the legit players to not enjoy. If you are in the two thousand twenty thousand crew and if you're just adding a card to your account and you're modding on it go online I can't stop you doing that but please do not ruin the gameplay for legit players that's all I want to say that's all I want to say the, the one crew is all natural motion people number one crew ain't natural motion people and the outlaws have been modding for a year for a year and a half a year and a half ago they had Sophie in there Dreamville Masters Battle they had bans every season it was insane. We were tenth. We were eleventh. That we'd be like, oh yeah. We ended up seventh because of people getting banned in the top ten back in the days. Top ten was top ten was filled with mothers. It was insane. People switching around elite licenses to get better RP, maxing out cars in literally no time whatsoever. The game has improved a lot. But that's the way that I look at it. Any modern hypercar I want to be added to the game. Honestly, I'm not really fond of the modern hypercars uh, <clears throat> in general. I'm thinking what new hypercar would I see, would I like to be added? I have something for the 488 Pista Spider. Just, <laughs> I love the 488 Pista in general. Um, but modern hypercars, if you guys could pick a modern hypercar or a supercar, which one 
that isn't in game, what would you put in? I need some inspiration. I can't come up with cars right now. I can't come up. Uh, let me know, guys. And let me know in the comments below. I'm quite curious. I'm quite curious. Two, one, go. I think this should be a rather good time. Is there a new electric DeLorean? I didn't even know about that one. They have 100 million RP right now. Okay, let me go, let me go check. If, if you if what you're saying is true that they're modding and they have 100 million RP right now, Brayden, no, I'm not gonna say hi to you. Just kidding. Hi, my man. How are you? Ooh, the speed tail. Good choice. McLaren Senna. Hmm. Yeah, I think I wouldn't go for the McLaren Senna, but I would go for the Senna GTR. I don't know. I, if have you guys also, if you if you guys are just on Google on your desktop, have you guys seen the new? uh p1 gtr the new p1 gtr um with the senna livery with the malboro livery from inspired from the f1 car that thing looks good that thing is good <coughs> i'm still getting i'm getting sick hmm. but let me go so i'm not saying these crews are modding and i'm not gonna say they are but um Masters Battles, Elite Allos and Dreamville back in the days, they were known for modding, they were known for adding things, they were known for changing things. Furia 300 has always been known for a virus. Even EO had some people having the virus, which was insane. There, are, there have been some pictures that leaked. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. But in general, it's not because they have 100 million RP that they're modders. I've been in Top Crew. I've been in Top Crew a couple of times. I, we've had 100 million a couple of times as well. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't even be having this car in the first place. So yeah. By the way, did uh, did you guys know? So <clears throat> this is something that surprised me this summer that I noticed. So there is a Ferrari F40. Everyone knows that iconic car. There is a Ferrari F50. Everyone knows that there is, that's also an iconic car. Not as iconic as the F40, but definitely a childhood dream for so many. But did you people know there was actually a Ferrari F60? I was mind blown. I was honestly mind blown. I think it was called the F60 Americana. When I saw that thing, I was mind blown. Like, how did I not know about this? I was, <laughs> I was shook. <laughs> I was so surprised when I saw that thing. That's of course my honest opinion about it. I don't know when that thing happened. Like. Uh, out of nowhere, so this summer when I was in San Francisco, there was like a full field with all roads to Ferraris. And they had the F6, they had like two or three F60s standing there. I was like, what is this? It made me, it made me, no, it, it didn't make me feel like an F12. It made me look like a very facelifted Fiat Abarth 124. That's the way that I love, that's the way that I thought when I saw that thing. <coughs> Are you guys looking for crew members on your current crew? Uh, Daniel, just hit me up on uh, Instagram. On Instagram, you can always message me on both on Instagram or online. My line ID is Melissa too. You can always hit me up on there, and maybe I can try get you a spot on it. That's the way that I can look at it. What about the Bugatti Vision GT? Nah, Meg, the, uh, the Bugatti Vision GT is not something that I'm really fond of. That thing is, that thing is a little bit too big. That thing is, it's, it's, it's insane. It's insane. Uh, for the crew, there are so many different requirements. We have a crew, top crew, which is 5 million. We have a crew for 2 million. We have a crew for 750,000. We have a crew for 1 million. We have many variants, but they're mostly filled up. So I can't guarantee you, guarantee you guys a spot. They're mostly filled. <coughs> and also you need to have the Discord app. Because I've been planning on making a, no, I've not been planning. Fred's got fully to Storm Rider. He's not here sadly today. I was, we were planning to make a group chat where I can just let everyone just join in and get for a crew, and maybe we can find crews for you guys, or you guys can join us. That's the way that we are looking for it. It's still in process. We still have to see what's going to happen next. See, it's F60 America. That's the one, and it looks ugly, isn't it? Apollo 16. It's it's ugly, isn't it? I really, really. really don't like that car honestly 
that thing <laughs> I don't even know what to think about that I don't even know soldier boy thank you really worked hard for this card like, if you have to cap every every day of the season you go to sleep late I actually had to wake up at 2 a.m. to get this car like because the reset time for me is at 2 a.m. in the morning I had to get up at 2 a.m. and then we had like a one hour wild card and a two hour wild card back to back at 2 a.m. in the morning and so we were capping we were racing and within an hour and a half or two hours I capped it was insane and then I had to go to school the next morning because that was like at 8 8 15 a.m. I had school again it was going mad uh, I'm 22 years old and actually my birthday is coming up in five days no in three days my birthday is the 26th and we the 23rd already so my birthday is the 26th so hopefully then I'll be 23 three two one go my best so far with this car has been a 10.741, so. <coughs> mm. Mm. What car did I use for the Tempest 3 tier 5? Um, what did I use for Tempest 3 tier 5? Mm, I can't remember. I used the Ice Charger. Because that one was the, was the best one. But that's... Uh, Yeah, it was just an easy choice. There are so many good, there are so many good cars as long as you can speed traps, as long as you can hit the zero to hundred. So, dude, I gotta go, friend. What is you saying? What is you saying? Got a girlfriend? Well, I already got a girlfriend for three years, and she's still liking this. She's probably already watching the stream without telling me she's watching. If you ever find a girl that supports whatever you do, just put a ring on her hand. Trust me. If she down with you streaming at, at midnight, put a finger on her. Put a finger on her hand. Put a ring on her finger, not a finger on her hand. She already should have one. Definitely. That would be weird if she suddenly had to put a finger on her hand. Yeah, we can't get the ice charger anymore as of now. You never know, they might introduce it back. Car to beat 418 kilometers per hour. That's a hard one. There are so many cars out there that can beat. There are not many cars out there that can beat them. But the cars that can beat it are also not really able to beat the 0 to 100 speed trap of I think it was a 1.7 so F40 can beat it I don't know if this car can be wait let me see can this car beat it I haven't actually checked if this car can hit the 400 kilometers per hour I doubt it will hit the 400 okay so this car at this tune doesn't hit the 400 maybe if it was a different tune it could hit it but that do add Eduan, I'm actually looking to maybe go back to From the Shadows 2 to hit a little bit more because I've been slacking so much. Uh, I have an exam period coming up soon, so I will have a little bit more time in the evenings after studying all day long. So my streams will also decrease next season, next couple of seasons, the end of January. I have my exams. It's going. I'm in my master year, so it will be my last Christmas period studying. But hopefully, doesn't it suck being a Christmas baby getting <laughs> chipped out of B Day presents? Joski, you have no clue, my man. You have no clue. That hurts so, so much. But honestly, I'm getting a green screen. That's that's the, that's the upside of it. I'm getting a green screen for my birthday. So I can use that for my next... next. I, when it, it's, it's arriving in five days. It's arriving the 28th. But I won't be streaming from here anymore. If I will use my green screen, it will be end of January. Unless I get home early for some reason. So... What's better? Purple stars are better, but they're a lot harder to get. I think one of the few cases where the purple star is not better is the limited edition Liberty Walk of Entador. So I think one of the only cases. Uh, the Aston Martin 77? The 177 is in game. I'll go to the garage real quickly. It's still there. It, it hasn't. It's not gone. As far as I'm aware, I hope. Okay, let me check. Let me check real quickly. I haven't watched the videos on Stradman. Uh, I I honestly don't watch that many videos on cars on. Uh, I don't watch that many cars on YouTube, car channels in general, because when I I like videos to be straight to the point. And most people are like, they talk around the ten minute videos. Like, that's why my videos are mostly like talk, 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 and mostly I try to get everything in as much as possible in just the shortest time period. Uh, wait, where is it? Is my... 
I think this is my Aston Garage. No. My Koenigsegg. Gutsy. Here it is. 177. It's still there. Still alive and kicking. No worries, it's not gone. It might be a Prestige Cup one day. You're right about that one. Hmm. Go. Here it is. Back to the. Alright, Liberty Walk. I'm gonna do this. Game Novice GN. That car can definitely be a car for Tier 2 Tempest 4. If they decide to bring it out in the future. But. Continue. No, this is not the one that we need. We need this one. Race 25. How much money do you spend this season? Are you talking about in game money or real money? Well, just in the season, you can't really compare because in the season, I can play a season for free, and the other season, I have to pay for a car for 20 bucks. But mostly, I try to do as much as possible for free. As a student, I don't really have that much money. And uh, my next investment will be a perhaps a better computer to avoid it to crash, so maybe increasing my streams. <coughs> And also, I'm actually looking to expanding my channel to maybe other games like um, PlayStation games, rather racing games. Because I've always been a racing guy, but like the Need for Speed, there was a trailer. Apparently, it's also a fake trailer, but there was a trailer like a small teaser for Need for Speed, which showed a most wanted, like the M3 GTR standing on its side. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, it's not official at all, but that thing, honestly, it, it looked. If that's true, if that's a real thing, I'm down for it. Hell yeah, I'm down for it. Thank you, MegDev, for the donation. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Nice. I'll always take that. Can use that for my next build. I don't even know. Is that rupees? Is it Indian rupees? I think it is, right? Okay, the, this, this, the, this, the, the stream will lag a little bit. For people who don't know, my stream lags every single time people donate. So it's gonna be, I'm gonna give it 10 seconds, and then it should be good. <coughs> Two, one, go. Doing quite good with this guy. Quite surprised. Welcome back, Fast Burton. Uh, untouchable guns. Fully maxed upgrades except the fusion. Dumbass, what are you trying to say? My stream should be lagging. My stream normally should be good. It should, like, it only lags normally when you give donations. That's like the that peak moment. That's why I'm actually looking now to build my own PC. Today I actually <laughs> consulted with some people and um, I got a full set of stuff that I would need to get a build ready, but I need to get the budget first. But I have so many plans on what I have to do next year, it's insane. Like, finding budgets for everything, it's... Is it lagging when I'm racing? No one told me this at all? Oh my god, my CPU is at 76%, what is going on? Let me close off everything here. Let me close off everything, so we can maybe ease on the CPU. No one told me this! You should tell me this. See, I closed everything now. It's back to 50 CPU. Normally, it should be better now. Alright. It was after the donation. Okay, after the donation, indeed, it was laggy. Because uh, my computer can't handle it. I have I have a computer. I installed some guys today. And I told them, like, these are my specs. And they actually started laughing at me. They'd be like, what is this? Your computer is so outdated. Like, oh, well, that's nice to know. After you spent 500 bucks for it a year ago. But yeah, what can I expect for 500 bucks, really? But, of course, I'm still a budget YouTuber. I try to get as much in with as little as possible. But with good quality content, of course. That's that's my main goal. Good quality content. And hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If there's anything you guys want me to change, if you guys want me to add something, always let me know. I'm always down to get criticism. Always appreciate it. The BMW M3 GTR is available Need for Speed No Limits, but I mean, I saw the car, but instead of thinking about I want the car, like, I want to have the story. I don't know if you guys played the old Need for Speed Most Wanted game, the 2005 one, not the 2012 trash, but the 2005 one. That thing was, oh my god, that thing was, I just, I just got goosebumps on my arm. 
Not kidding. I just got <laughs> just got goosebumps thinks of thinking about this. Add girls on trampolines. Okay, I'ma find some girls on trampolines and whenever I get a donation, I'ma find and I'ma make a gift where I get girls jumping on trampolines. I'll fix that, Joski. I'll fix that. I'll try fix that. No, I don't hack the game. I play legit. What car do I own in real life? I drive a BMW 525 diesel E60 2004 model. Great, great looking car, honestly. Victor, everyone remembers the old goals where they give 150 gold. And you could get it like two or three a day. That thing was awesome. I'm still pissed at them for removing it. How do you get so many keys? My keys are broke. <laughs> I'm broke as hell on my keys. How did I get so much gold? I got it from support. I already showed it a couple of times. Um, it's because I had a glitch that part once. My delivery time went to 350 hours. And they replaced, they gave me the... They gave me the gold to compensate it, to, to deliver them. But I decided to wait just two weeks instead of delivering them immediately. And then I got everything sorted and I was able to keep the gold. And I actually was at 180,000 gold. And since then I actually spent 30,000 gold already. So I'm not, I'm not doing too great in terms of saving money. Do you like the look of the 335i? Uh, which one is that? Which... Is it is it one of the F series or is it still an E series? My vision is fully maxed except for 12 fusion parts. I'm missing. I can't hit the 300 max. The 300 mark? Are you talking about the? I'm not sure what you're trying to talk about the 300 mark. What do I think about Seven Worlds Gaming? Seven Worlds Gaming doesn't play the game anymore. That's uh, there's nothing much to say about it. That's the way that I look at it. Nothing much I can really say about him. He used to play the game. I feel like I took over the torch in one of the most... Uh, I don't think not the most... I think I'm the highest ranked CSR player in terms of YouTube. Um, that's the way that I look at it. And I'm going to keep it this way like I want to do it. Because I still love the game. I get many, I get many people saying... You should change games. You should stop doing this. Etc. Etc. But... I do it just because I like doing the game. I like I like the game, I have a passion for the game. Okay, lately it has been less because I've been trying to play Asphalt 9 as well. Which I really don't like at all, but somehow it does keep me hooked. For some reason, I have no idea why. But yeah. I still love to play the game and you can see it. I have every car in the game and I would be stupid to just drop it out of nowhere. If once you start playing this game, you, I just keep stuck on it. What car is going to be the next Golden Cup? The next Golden Cup is expected to be either the FXXK EVO or the... Uh, under <coughs> what was it? Under Pressure Camaro. That's, that's definitely two cars that are worth it. The FXXK EVO is a bloody fast car. I did a run with it. It's a 7.43 seventh car. That's, that's, in that's crazy. I can't really join crews. I got, I'm in the crew that I'm in. I'm quite happy. Well, Joski, if you would, honestly, Joski, if you would get a free trip, like, suggested to you, would you say no to it? Like, honestly, if you would get a free trip, everyone would just take a free trip, wouldn't you? I got my, like, I got my trip to, to San Francisco from the name, invited me there as well. Definitely wouldn't, wouldn't say no to it. Really appreciated it as well. And he actually made videos from it, he showed the community already something, so I don't really, I don't blame him at all, blame him at all. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do in damage on the leaderboard. We got we got a slight advantage. The car is maxed out. <coughs> Adrenaline back up there again. I have no idea how he does it. Looks Luther, Mr. Hyde, all the same guys again. Ooh, fast button number eight. I'm a hand for that spot fast button. Be sure about this. I'm a me and fast button. Ooh, Costas up there as well. Costas is also a guy, but again, Dr. Watson. Dr. Watson, Lex Luthor, Mr. Hyde, Adrenal. Guys that always seem to have the cars maxed out. Whatever they do. How? I have no idea. Honestly. No idea whatsoever. Okay, let's see this. Let's see this. I need to focus on this. I need to I need to beat Fast Burton. I need to beat Fast Burton. Come on. 
I'm not hitting perfect shifts correctly. No, I don't think I'll be fast enough. I think this will be a this could be a low. Oh, the, ooh, this was a low seven. This was a low seven. This was actually quite seven twenty one, seven twenty one. So we are still twenty two hundreds away. Oh, we 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 in top hundred, in top hundred. We are we doing good? We doing good. First try, not too bad. If it's a it's a first try, that's it. Mm. That that's that's a that's a good first try. Honestly, I'll take that any day. Let's let's. I'll do I'll do two more days, then I'll try ten more, and then I'll close off after it. I'm just curious to see how it's gonna end up now. Can we beat it? At least that would be good if we can beat it. Right? No, not the best. Oh, I messed up even more now. See, I'm not hitting the perfect shifts. I'm hitting good shifts rather than perfect shifts. <coughs> hmm. Getting sick again. I need to get my throat checked. Definitely. That was bad. That was not bad because it's still a good time, but <laughs> it's bad compared to what I should be hitting. It's a bro big problem with other cars in game. Why don't I create an interesting online race? Because I'll play just javelin and swaps. Um, Basil is because they made it a way that it's very competitive for the top to get the purple star car, so people swap because it's the fastest way. Um, but yeah. They can't kill the swapping. They tried it, but they can't kill the swapping unless they would make a. You can only win skis from doing a streak, but then you get. Um. On, wait. So, so if you would make a winning streak, people would actually be bumped up to a faster lobby where they can't win. They should tighten up the lobbies. So it would be okay. It would be harder to find each other, but the races would be a little bit more fair. That's the way that I look at it. That's definitely the way I look at it. So that's. It's tricky. It's tricky. Definitely, the like the 7.4 to 7.7 .7 can definitely be improved because that is a way too big gap. There are so many cars in there that shouldn't be there. In general, people pay to max out a car and then they get beaten by 0.3 of a second. I don't think that's fair at all. That's the way that I look at it. Victor Ramos, honestly, you don't have to. You don't have to buy the cars in game. You don't have to, honestly, you have to. You don't have to buy the cars in game. You can play this game completely for free. There's no real no purpose because you can buy a car. You can buy two cars. I have all. I have bought all the cars in game with my own money. I don't get them from natural motion like many say. I pay for all my cars myself. And what is what is the point of it? <laughs> Honestly, I have a La Ferrari Aperta which has driven 50 miles and that's it. And it's just collecting dust there. Is it worth it to buy every car in game? No, it's not worth it. Honestly, from my honest opinion, it's not worth it. Just buy a car ever if you feel like, oh yes, that's something that I want. Because the game itself is free. It's a good game. It looks good. If ever you have one car, you'd be like, oh, I absolutely love that car. You should be down for it. Like, for example, the MC12. I love that car. That car is gorgeous. I think everyone likes the MC12 in general. For me, though, if I had to pick one car, MC12, maybe the Devo. I would never pick the Javelin. Oh, that thing is ugly. In my opinion, not, not ugly. Hopefully, the, the they're not. It's not ugly. Let me correct that. It's not ugly. It's not the least good one compared to the least best looking compared to the other ones out there. That's the way that I look at it. That's just what I say. Did I ever like Doc's YouTube? Honestly, no. I never liked Doc. Um, for two simple reasons. His video titles were clickbait. Natural Motion wants me dead for this. Natural Motion deleted my videos, etc., etc. Second, he always claimed that he had found a trick, which wasn't true, and the fact that his level was level 93 and he was telling everyone, oh yeah, I know how the game runs. Because he had been playing for a couple of months and has never really, really liked Doc. Um, that, of course, is personal opinion. Um, I started to create my own content. Um, I realized there are so many out there. They claim they know everything and then you look the main thing that you should look whenever you see trick videos trick videos trick videos and tips videos you have to look at two things level level is quite important see how much you actually play the game do they know the game as much and second of all is look what was it again what was i gonna say the second one is with the trick videos trick to pull this look at the amount of pulls they have because it's always it, it's 
they mess around with the pulls like, oh, look, I pull this Lamborghini Aventador Liberty Walk. They pull it. They pull it at one point and then you go look at the top and you can see that seven pulls later they pull it a second time and they'd be like, oh, it's a trick. But if you pull it only two times out of eight, no, <laughs> that's not how a trick works. No. A trick is something that works every time. So when they say they have a trick and it doesn't work every time, it's not a trick. Sorry. Then you just click baiting people. Like, did you just see my video on the my last live stream? My stream with my stream trick to pull this car I had 400 views at one point just because people like to be clickbaited. I didn't. I had no intentions to trick to trick people into it at all. No tricks whatsoever, but it still did. People like to see that kind of stuff. Uh, am I connecting to Android? I haven't played online for a long time, so I can't really tell. Sorry about that. Uh, but some cars are really beautiful, but let me tell something. If the US dollar and the money of my country name is real, real have the same value, you need to pay $70 to buy one car. So unfair. Um, Victor Ramos, it depends. Are you talking about buying one car? You're talking about a finale car or you're talking about a single car? MC12, for example, will be 20 bucks. Um, if you want to go for the Pagani Zona Revolution, that will be costing a lot of money. But then you have to think about it for yourself. Is it worth it? Like, for example, if you've been playing for the game for two years, if you have to then invest 70 bucks once for playing two years for free, you have to look at it in different ways. Seven points. We need, to, we need to get this thing. I'm not gonna beat. I'm not gonna beat a uh, fast button at this rate. <laughs> I can tell you that. Can you play from your PC to Android phones? If yes, please, can you do some swaps? Um, I'm not. I'm not on PC right now. This is not PC. This is not computer. That I'm using. I'm actually running this right here. This is my phone. Y'all can see the screen right now. It's going to be turning around. See? That's how it is. That's how I play. I'm not playing from PC. If people are wondering, that's why the graphics are actually quite good. Because I'm running iPhone 7. Absolutely love this game. Oh yes, this game. Oh yes, look at this guys. That McLaren F1 will just fly fast. Buyers. No, isn't he? Oh, this one isn't glitched. There is a glitch out there with McLaren F ones where they run ridiculous times whatsoever. How long do you plan on making CSR two videos? As long as I feel like doing. It. Right now, I have no ideas, no intentions of stopping it. I like doing it. I like helping people. That's how I do. Apollo sixteen. I should get a proper gaming phone. Uh, what do you consider as a proper gaming phone? Because Android. This game runs trash on Android. This has nothing to do with Android being bad. This actually is because the game development for this car is not as good. That's hand down, hands down the issue probably because Android has so many different variants. There are troubles with it. That's, that's the way that I look at it. What's my top 5 cars I use in live races? 918 Spider, DTX. Uh, that's it. I don't think I ran many cars in online except those two cars. I ran a Demon for a very long time. Normally it's the Hops GTX or my 918 Spider. That's the two that I wouldn't go for the most. Another one is the Huracan. Huracan Performante is also a nice car. But not really fit for a nice lobby. I can't really give you a top five. That's the way that, that I look at it. Will they buff game for Android? I really hope they do. I really hope they do, but there have to be Android devices that can handle it. Wait, let me focus. I need to fast back. Not hitting them perfect shifts. We need to hit the perfect shifts. Arr! Hit the perfect shifts to make it good. What type of music do I listen to? What type of? That's a good question. That's a good question. Wait, let me let me Google something real quick. Let me go. Let me google something real quick, I need to find the name of it. I had a song earlier today, which was amazing. I listened to drum and bass, but lately I've been listening to a certain song. If you guys are down to listen to drum and bass, drum and bass, try to look for Fugees, ready or not. That song is my song at the moment, that thing, that thing amazing. I 
I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of drum and bass. I know I had the perfect start, but I didn't hit nitrous. No, fast button, you're getting away from me. You're getting lucky here. You're getting lucky here. Uh, Daniel, I'm not going to do a live stream where I'll be swapping with you guys, but I have a plan right now in my head already a couple of days. Where I'll be doing live streams of w a randomizer that picks. I'll be, I'll be doing a live stream where I'll be doing races online, where a randomizer picks my garage between 1 and 50. Like, I think I have 50 garage, so I'll be a randomizer between garage 1 and 50, and then between those 50 garages, I pick one garage, and within the garage, it's going to pick 1 to 6. And with that car, I will be going online, I will give you guys a tune, and you guys can find me out there, and we can race. Sounds like a good idea, so then I can maybe get some nice races with people out there. That's, that's, that's the idea, that's the concept that I have in mind right now. Hopefully, I can accomplish doing it. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Definitely something that I'm down to do. Seventh, oh, good shit, good shit. But that's something that I'm planning on doing maybe end of January because I have exams coming up right now. Uh, Mid January I could be back home, but I will be away from home. So I can still do videos, but I won't be I won't be home to actually do live streams. Like this is my home, this is my room. Okay, let's do two more races and I'm gonna close off. I'm getting hungry, I'm gonna need to get some. What is it if you get some lunch at midnight? It's not dinner because it's too late for dinner, but it's not breakfast. Is it, is it a midnight snack? Is there a name for it? I don't know if there is a name for it. Seven. Yeah, should be a perfect. Oh yeah, perfect shift. There we did it. The fastest car is the Javelin. 7.1. McDonald's munchies? Yeah, but McDonald's is too far away. I have a dog downstairs. He's going to wake up the moment I'm going to go downstairs. <laughs> That's gonna be a pain. He's gonna wake up everyone in the house. I have a big ass dog. Like his head like literally comes like if you if I sit down, his head comes on the table. He's huge. I really love him. If you're gonna wake him up, you're gonna bark the entire house awake. So I can't really go to McDonald's. I have to find something that I can do within the house. Taco Bell. We don't have no Taco Bell in Belgium. You cannot imagine, I went to the United States only once for four days and I didn't go to a Taco Bell. I should go to a Taco Bell. Like, I tried the burgers at In-N-Out. I absolutely love the burgers at In-N-Out. That thing was good, honestly. I, I received the car by being top 10 in the season for the for this car. Absolutely loved it. <laughs> Shadow Gamer. There's such thing. You, can, you can't order food in Belgium. It's, it's quite it's quite hard to order food in Belgium. It's, that's a downside from us. Restaurants close at 11 p.m. It's it's past midnight. Nothing is open at this time. Nothing is open. It's a pain, honestly. Six, seven. Ah, good shift. Hopefully, in this, maybe this time should be. Oh, 7:33. That was a bad time. That was a bad time. Um. Mayonnaise or ketchup on fries? That's a good question. The thing is, if I order fries, I always put a um, stew. It's not a stew, really. It's it's a it's stew. It's it's meat with with a sauce based on beer. It's uh, called stuvere uh, in Dutch. Maybe some Dutch people out there. So stuvere combined with mayonnaise, some nice um, some nice barbecue. Not not barbecue. What am I saying? Um, no barbecue, uh, satay. Satay spices on top of that. Oh, that thing is good. But then, of course, it's something Belgian. We literally have, like, frying everywhere. But I'll close right now. And I'm hungry. So I'm gonna close off. <laughs> yes, Jerry, I need to... I know, I'm aware I have to do some live racing. I've been slacking so much. Uh, yes, I do use Line. My, um... I do use Line. My Line ID is Melissa too. You can always hit me up there. They hit me up with some, uh... Or ask me some information and if you want to come to belgium you can always message me as well i can give you the best places to go to in ghent that's the way that i see it are you going to make a live stream about all the garage all the cars in my garage i've been planning on doing so but i've just been extremely busy my next concept is doing a live stream on terms of um not live stream a video in terms of the best way the walk through to through the um walk through 
through the Legends update in general because we uh, there are so many tricks out there. Uh, right now I'm working on my Honda NSXR. So if you guys haven't watched my video, the best trick out there that I can give you is always work at one car at a time. That's the best trick I can give you guys. Work one car at a time. Every question mark that you get from the daily cups, straight going to go to your NS to your one car that you're working on. That's the main trick I can give you guys. And right now, I'm a guy that always likes to work from hard to easy, so I'm waiting to get enough components to get this part done. And I have to start on my and I have to start on my um I still have to start on restoring fate. And this is a restoring fate. This is the one with the four cars. Here it is. See, it's restoring fate. I still have to start that one. So I'm I'm taking it slow, but I'm taking it quite smart because right now the cars that I do have, is, they need to find a way where we can scroll through it faster. So. Sorry, guys, for you to watch. So right now, so we have the Veneno there. Okay, see, so these are the cars that I have right now. So I have the C3, the DB5. 300SL and 250 GTO, so I'll be using this one, this one, this one, and the Honda NSXR. Those are the ones that I'll be using. But yeah. So I'm gonna go back to the, the Liberty Walk R8, which is around here. Um, <laughs> This one, I'm gonna turn around this one. I'm confused, should I buy the Veneno and keep it without upgrades for future events? Ahmed, no, wait for it. Um, wait for the finale, when the finale comes out you can buy the cars in the cheaper bundle. Always can, so that's the way that I think that would be good. I'm streaming to catch Santa on the 24th. You should be getting it on 2050 ACS 8 with a prismatic livery and it looks good. It really looks good. Curious about the tier for Alfa Romeo B8 C Competition. I hope Miller will give some information. Robert, you know I'll be up there always giving out information. I have the car already on my dummy account, so I can already do a couple of maxed out runs. Don't know what's capable of, but I have to wait until the event actually launches before I can give actual footage of it. That's the only rule. Why do you have so much money in this game? I don't have money whatsoever. My money is broke. I'm broke. I'm hella broke right now. <laughs> I'm hella broke. So, anyways, guys, I have to stop here. Past midnight, my girlfriend's gonna be up. She's gonna be pissed. Um, she's been waiting for me all this time. Absolutely love this blue R8. Absolutely love it. I didn't expect to like this one as much as the yellow one, but I absolutely love it. So, with this, I'm gonna close off. Hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you ever guys have any questions, follow me on Instagram and hit me up there or hit me up online. My line ID is Melissa too. Always free to answer it. All right, guys. My name is Miller, see you around, and keep racing. Have a good weekend, guys.